Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're just finding me then hello and welcome. Please do subscribe and come join our little family over here. Today I have a really exciting ASOS haul for you. I mean, I did a little bit of damage because I have been seeing the most amazing things on ASOS recently. I won't lie, there was quite a long time where I would look on there and just didn't find anything. I just didn't like any of the stuff they had to offer which is crazy considering how huge their online store is they literally have everything um but that has all changed i'd say like this year but more towards the spring summer of this year so far i have been loving so many things hence the huge bag that we're going to go through in a minute so i'm very excited to <laughs> share this haul with you i hope i hope everything fits um but i just want to quickly say i'm really sorry if I just gradually melt throughout this video. It's so hot here today, it's like a thousand degrees in this house. And um, because I'm filming, I've had to turn the fan off, close the windows. So yeah, my hair is probably gonna go flat in two seconds. I'm gonna keep going, it's all good. <laughs> So before I jump into today's video, I just want to say a quick thank you to our sponsor, HelloFresh. So those of you that have watched me for a long time will know that I have raved about HelloFresh for years and years and years, and we as a family absolutely love it. And if you haven't tried it yet, I have a really good discount code for you. So maybe this is the time that you think, I'm actually going to give this a go, because I know a lot of people rave about it. I rave about it to everybody that I know, because I genuinely love it. And my favourite thing, hands down, about it is it makes... The evenings that we have it, like, so hassle-free. We've picked the meals that maybe, like, the week before. We have three HelloFresh meals a week. So we know exactly what we're grabbing from the fridge. It all is pre-proportioned in a bag, ready to go. And then you just pick the bag out um, that corresponds with the number on the recipe card. And then you just make it all up. Everything's, like, pre-proportioned. So if you've got spices or herbs, you have the exact right amount for that meal. I just love that aspect of it. But something else that I feel like less people talk about is just the taste. Everything we have ever had from there, you make it up. And it's just so delicious. I think because they really think about, like I said, the herbs and spices and seasoning and the flavors that go into it like we had a curry the other night and it was just delicious so so delicious um obviously you can see in the cutaways this evening we had a burger and that was delicious as well this is one of the boys favorites so they do like 45 different recipes each week so that you never get bored of anything and there's different options if you're a family if you're a vegetarian if you want speedy meals like you can choose what best suits you and your lifestyle or your family um so i always try and get like a burger but they'll they'll always be different and changing so yeah the kids love it as well we never get any complaints from the kids i know we're a little way off of it yet because we are right at the start or what feels like the start of the summer holidays but if you're thinking about planning and getting back into a routine when you are sending the kids back to school if you've got kids or maybe you're going back to school yourself or college or uni um it is a really good time to start thinking about using the offer now. It means that when you get into that busy time of the year again where the kids are going out to school, clubs, all of that kind of thing, again, it just means that you can get the dinner on the go and you don't have to stress about what you're gonna make, you don't have to worry about going and buying it from the shop. It's just fantastic. So I'm gonna pop my discount code and also a QR code which you can literally just open your phone camera and go straight to the link. I think that's just so clever. Um, on the screen for you now, the code KATEM6025 is gonna get you 60% off your first box and 25% off the next two months. Um, and also free desserts for life. Yeah, I said that right. Free desserts for life. So I'll put all of the information in the description box below for you, or like I said, you can check it out on the QR code. And don't forget to let me know if you do try it out for yourself and let me know what you think. Right, so let's get this bag open. I'm very, very excited. <laughs> Feels like Christmas, right. So do I do this in any order or do I just go randomly? Let's just see, pull, pull things out and see how we go. So this, first of all, is a gorgeous dress. Obviously on ASOS, I don't have um, all of the tags with prices on like I would if I was doing say like a Primark haul. So I'll link everything in the description box below so you can check out what the prices of everything is. Oh my God, this dress is so beautiful. I hope I didn't get it too small. Oh my God, it's stunning. Right, so I'm gonna just try it on and not try and talk about it too much whilst I'm holding it up. But this is an ASOS design dress. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna just go and put it on otherwise I'm gonna talk about it now and then talk about it when I've got it on, so I'll be right back. Oh my god, this dress is unreal. I'm gonna do a cutaway here so you can like see the full length of it because I just can't get the camera back far enough. Otherwise it'll be across the other side of the room and I'll have to shout. But anyway, this dress is beautiful. I feel like a fairy. Um, the only thing is I did size up in it and I need to go back to, well, I need to size down basically because it's a little bit big around here. But apart from that, it is just beautiful. I know the cutout detail isn't for everybody, um, but I love this sort of corset. It's like boned here, and it goes down in this V shape, which is my favorite at the moment. And then it's got the pretty sort of um, frilled sleeves. Um, yeah, I just adore this. It's a gorgeous color. Um, on the website, I, I feel like the background looked a little bit more white, which obviously if it was gonna be a wedding guest dress would be a no-no. But in real life, it's definitely pink with a lot of peach and gold. So I, I feel like it would be fine. This is definitely not a white dress. Um, but yeah, this would look so beautiful for any events that you have coming up this summer. I just can't get over how much I love this dress. I really hope they've got it in the size down because I might need to swap for, for that. But this is a keeper. This is like a 10-10 in my opinion. So I've just whacked my hair up for a minute because it is just so hot in here. I don't want to keep moaning about it, but it probably looks ridiculous, but um, I'm just too hot. <laughs> so this dress is beautiful. I'm worried that this isn't going to do it justice because this is a dress that really needs a steam, whereas the last one was just like perfect out of the bag. This one definitely, to see it to its full beauty, would need to be steamed. Um, it is so pretty. The back is gorgeous, but it looks crap because I've got no one here to help me tie the bows so it's got the two bows here and it has this corseted um like crisscrossy <laughs> what is the word my brain's gone blank this tie up detail on the back back like you find on a corset so I love that because you can cinch it in as much as you want but I just haven't been able to do it properly on my own it's definitely a dress you need someone to sort out on the back for you and like the ribbons need to also be steamed but apart from that we'll ignore that for a second it is a beautiful dress I love the ruching around the bust and also the ruching on the shoulders these could obviously be much tighter you see, like, I need to tie those bows much better. And then, again, I'm just obsessed with this sort of um, corseted, like, V-shape body detail that a lot of dresses have at the moment. So pretty and so flattering. I think it looks really, like, it's flattering on the waist. Um, so, yeah, this one is a bit more of a midi length. The last one was, like, very long on me. I'm five foot two for reference, and I've got heels on. Um, but, yeah, this one definitely shows off the old ankle. But I would definitely wear this to a wedding as well. It's so pretty. It's a lovely muted pink and it's got yellow flowers. Very, very, very beautiful. I really like this one. I like the first one more, but this one is really pretty as well. My goodness me, <laughs> this dress is unreal. Um, I've just been dancing around doing the, because basically, I was gonna say, I this isn't all dresses, um, but I just wanted to try all the dresses on first because I'm doing like a little dress real so I'm filming that alongside the cutaways and this part of the video um so I've just been flouncing about in this dress for ages and I love it I'm gonna put the bag down for a second um this dress is so gorgeous I'm so in love with like a patchwork print this year and this I didn't have very high hopes for it when I got it out of the bag because it's incredibly thin like there was nothing to it and it's not very forgiving I definitely would prefer to wear like um, like body sculpting underwear underneath this instead of just consistently breathing in the whole time, which I'm doing right now. Um, but apart from that, it's not actually as sheer and see-through as I thought it was going to be. Well, it's, I don't think it is. I'll probably watch this back and it is, but the because the pattern is so busy, it's quite forgiving in that sense. I love the neckline, I love the crisscross back, I love the frill on the bottom, I feel like a mermaid. <laughs> this is giving me Love Shack fancy vibes. Um, I'm not necessarily sure the style of the dress, but like the print of the dress, and I'm obsessed with Love Shack, Shack fancy, and like Becky, who is the founder of it, like obsessed with her Instagram. But anyway, yeah, this is really cute. I can't send this back <laughs> because I don't know where I'm gonna wear it, but I love it. I might just wear it around the house forever. 
So next up we have this gorgeous lilac dress. Now again, let me just chuck this bag down. I've just had a little bit of a pickle getting into it because I didn't think I had it on right. I had to go back and look how it's actually worn. Um, it's so beautiful. I love so much about it. The only thing I don't love, and I don't know again if it's something I've done wrong, but it does look like it in the pictures. Like these sides are just not sitting right. They're, they're all like bunched and ruched. Now, I don't think it necessarily matters too much because where it's so floaty, as you're moving and your arms are there, you don't really notice it, but it's just a bit odd. But aside from that, it's so gorgeous. It's got like the plasticky bit up here that helps just keep that like in place. And then you've got the beautiful Bardo style neckline. You've got the gorgeous ruffle down the front. You've got the split. And obviously it's like a long maxi style. It's got these really nice like jacquard. I think that's the right print term for this or pattern term. Um, material. Anyway, it's cute. I really, really like it. I just wish it fit like slightly better. I don't know. I don't know why it should be like that. I think it's just the type of fabric on the top. But anyway, really gorgeous. This colour is stunning. Love this colour so much. And then we have this gorgeous dress. I'm moving on from dresses in a minute, don't worry if that's not your thing. Um, sorry if my cutaways are a little bit crazy, by the way. When I do them, I like put music on to like, you know, hype me up. Um, <laughs> that's why sometimes I'm like boogieing and doing weird things. Uh, but anyway, I absolutely love this dress as well. It's got some different elements from other dresses that we've already seen. Oh my gosh, so out of breath today. So we've got like the patchwork style, um, but this is a lot more muted, although it is so pretty. And I've just noticed different sections have different um, materials. So this is the silky part. I didn't actually notice that till I just felt myself. <laughs> this bit's silky, this part's chiffony. So pretty. Again, it's just so, it's gorgeous. Like it's got a bit of a slit here and a little one there. Oh, you can't see there, down there on this camera, sorry. Um, and it's an asymmetric style. And then on the back, you've got these gorgeous tie-ups. And let me just say that I'm really trying to embrace things like this. I would never have worn anything backless. If you know me, you know for the best part of the last decade, I've been having babies and my body's been changing constantly. Um, and I have always been really like self-conscious of not having a very big bust I probably mention it in every video that like fashion video that I do um but I'm just trying to like embrace it now whereas I would never have worn anything backless before because I would have wanted to wear a bra that had some like padding in it now I just kind of feel like well this is what I look like and I'm trying to be happy with what I look like and, and if that means that I can maybe wear a dress braless then you know I'll take that as my positive from something that I feel is like a negative about me so yeah I'm actually loving being a little bit more adventurous with the styles of clothing that I'm wearing even like shorter dresses I would never have worn short dresses and I've all of these ones have been longer but I have been wearing some shorter ones as well but anyway sorry went off on a tangent there absolutely love this I need so many events now to go to to wear these all to which I don't have but will make something happen. <laughs> so it turns out I'm a liar. <laughs> I do have another dress and it's a short dress. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily wear this to like a wedding or, well, other events I would wear it to. But I feel like it is a bit OTT as a day dress because of like the volume in the shoulders. Um, but I definitely think it is more of a day dress. You could even put this on with like trainers. It would look really cool. So this is really cute. I love the length, the length of it. I would just wear um, like cycling shorts underneath it because of the, the length of it basically. And then I would feel like really comfortable to just run around in it. Um, the shoulders on this are huge. <laughs> They're super puffy. And you could kind of wear it off the shoulder as well. Like, can you? yeah, you can kind of um, cinch this in more. It's not just a decorative tire. So I guess if you wanted to wear it bar dough you could tighten that up yeah that feels a lot more like secure on the shoulders now that's cute I like it a lot it's really really pretty um I feel like the neckline is very elegant like 
you if I can imagine if this was made out of maybe a slightly different material and it was long maybe in a different color I don't know but like it would be a really good ball gown dress <laughs> um, but obviously I don't go to many balls so short is the way to go I think for just normal you know like wearing it to a party or something someone's party have you got like a a, birth, a big birthday coming up this would be a really cute little dress for that moving away from dresses as i said this uh item from asos is actually the top the gorgeous leopard print um trousers i've got on are actually a new purchase from next so anything that i pair with something from the haul i'll try and link below as well if i can find it but just wanted to let you know that that's where i got these from um but yeah this is what i got um from asos i've wanted a little tie up sort of linen style um top with the long sleeves like a bit fluted for a while i actually really want one in sage green for some reason um but i can't find one at the minute but i really really like this white one um i have just put on a strapless bra with this just because it's really sheer um or sheer enough anyway but that's absolutely fine it kind of just i don't know it's a nice little throw on piece and it will go with loads of things like little shorts as well um yeah it's quite cute it's a little bit oversized but i, I think it's meant to be like that so it's not too much of an issue but this is really cute and I've sort of paired it with some pink gazelles that I got on Vinted um, and the trousers so yeah I like this one. Kept on the same trousers and shoes because I feel like it's the same vibe. I got this little t-shirt or should I say large t-shirt. It's very oversized. Um, this is a small for reference and I've had to tuck it in a lot so if you were going to get this and you didn't want it to be like mega baggy then um, I would definitely size down a lot. I just loved it because of this on the back. I thought it looked really nice. And I thought it would look cute with lots of my striped trousers, linen trousers, um, and even like these. But I just think this one is too big. I like the, the style. Like I like how it's got this part written on. But I just think it swamps me, even though that's probably the, the point. I, it just doesn't really suit me. This one I've just paired with the little cutest bag ever um, there's nothing in it at the minute um the bag i got on timu and some little Birkenstock boston i'm gonna say dupes they were from next but they are brilliant quality really really nice um and these shorts are primark so the only thing from the haul is the top um that's what i wanted to show you but i just thought i'd try and style it how i was envisioning wearing it i'm just loving the wearing pyjamas outside look that's been going on this spring summer I'm here for it I think it's cute um this top again is a small and it's just I mean I could wear it as a dress it would be a very short dress but it, I have to tuck it in or you can't see that I've got the shorts on I think I'd prefer it maybe like not tucked in for a casual look but with the size of it I have to so again I might see if they've got a smaller one um but again, I just, I really loved the print, the colours. Cute, it's just, I don't think of it being oversized. It probably says oversized on the website, but Kate didn't pay attention to that. <laughs> okay, so this little waistcoat, I love it. But I've been trying for the last 10 minutes to work out what I would wear it with in my wardrobe. I've put it on with these green, um, like, suit style trousers from Primark, which I really love. But I'm still not sure that's what I would choose to wear it with. I really think maybe a pair of white tailored shorts would look nice. Um, but anyway, it's just to show you the top part really. So this is actually quite an unusual material. I didn't realise it is sort of like a velvety, flocked, so it's very soft. It's like a jumper, like a waistcoat. Um, so I'm quite hot right now even though my arms are fully out. I'll get up close actually so you can hopefully see what I'm talking about maybe a bit better. Slightly ribbed as well. It is really pretty and I do think it could be styled up in a really cool way. I've just not done it right now. <laughs> but I like it. I don't love it but I like it. So I, when I got this out of the bag I wasn't sure what I thought of this little cardigan. I've been looking for cropped cardigans for ages and ASOS do actually have quite a few including this style which wasn't very expensive and they did have quite a lot of colours although when I looked I think quite a few were sold out but I know they get stuff back in anyway but I actually do really like it like I've done opened sorry that I keep cutting my head off um I've opened two buttons but obviously you could wear it like fully done up as well now I don't know how it's showing up on the camera but it is a little bit 
bubblegummy pink for me. I would have preferred like a few shades like more muted or pale, but actually on, I quite like it because it doesn't wash me out as much as pink can do, like when it's a bit more peachy, I suppose. I, yeah, I really like this, and I know it's ridiculous wearing this in this heat. I'm sweltering right now, but I would obviously wear this as we go into like autumn and winter. Probably shouldn't even be saying that right now. Um, I got these little stripy trousers, like the linen style from H&M, but then also from ASOS, I got this. It's the cutest little claw clip cherry claw clip I don't um often wear these because I feel like when I put my hair sorry you can see my bra poking out when I put my hair up it looks a bit odd I mean obviously I've just done that really roughly but that's what it looks like can you see that I don't know hopefully you can see it okay <laughs> it's just really cute I absolutely love cherries they've just been like having their moment this summer so I thought I'd grab that and I do have this one as well oh my god I've just chucked this back on for a second I don't we were doing so well and I didn't know whether to end on this because it is the last bit I've got out but I can't not show you I have to be honest I was about to try on another cardigan and I was like, when I got it, I was like, that looks so washed out. It's a funny shade of white. It looks like it's been washed loads of times. It smells, it actually smells really nice, but it's very strongly perfumed. I don't, oh my God, hang on. It's got a stain inside, whether that will show up on the camera, I don't know. And it has got a massive yellow stain on the front. Like how they, it's like, first of all, how someone has had the cheek to send this back like that then how they've accepted it back then how they've sent it out to someone else i am shocked like literally nothing like that has ever happened to me before i was about to say i don't even know if it's from asos it is from asos wow oh my god that is insane Okay, well, probably not the best way to end an ASOS haul. <laughs> but honestly, everything else was spot on, gorgeous. I'm pretty sure it was brand new. Um, but that was something else. Uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> hope this doesn't put you off the whole entire haul. I will link everything in the description box below for you um, and hope that you don't have that experience. Uh, I hope they take it back from me and they don't think that I did that. Anyway. Let me know what your favourite item was. Was it that last cardigan? <laughs> and also don't forget to um, give Hello Trash, tr Hello Trash, <laughs> Hello Fresh a try. Um, I've put it all on screen again for you. Honestly, something that I love, a brand that I will always rave about. They're delicious. Please do try it. And don't forget you can get free desserts for life. So yeah, thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this haul, please give it a thumbs up. Please just give it a thumbs up if you got this far to say well done for getting through this heat because I know you can't feel it right now but I I am very tired um, <laughs> from trying everything on that sounds pathetic anyway thank you for watching please do like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in another video very soon bye guys